hey guys and welcome back to Bee's kitchen i hope everyone is doing well so today guys i am going to show you how i make one of my favorite childhood Ghanaian dish which is called eto eto is a popular Ghanaian dish in the southern part of ghana it is made from either boiled yam plantain or cocoa yam it's mashed and mixed with palm oil garnished with roasted peanut avocado and some eggs guys today i'm going to show you the version that i like which is the yam version and this recipe is absolutely delicious it's simple to follow so stay with me and let's get started for this recipe i am going to use the following ingredients i have some yam palm oil smooth peanut butter paste scotch bonnet onion chopped onions fermented fish also known as momone i have my roasted peanut for garnishing avocado for garnishing and some eggs for garnishing i will list everything in the description box below i am now going to peel the skin off the yam next i will wash the yam and cut it into pieces As the yam is clean, I am just added enough water to boil the yam. To the yams, I'm going to add the scotch bonnet and the eggs. I will allow the scotch bonnet to soften before grinding. Next, I'm going to season with salt. I am now going to cover and allow the yam to come to a boil. As I'm making a to. We're keeping everything traditional. To get started on grinding my onions, I'll be using my asanka and a wooden grinder, also known as tapoli. If you don't have this, you can use a blender. I am cutting the onions into my asanka. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. I will then use my wooden grinder and I'll grind this until smooth. As you can see the yam has come to a boil the yam should take about 20 minutes to cook or until it is soft next i am going to remove the scotch bonnet from the yam cover and allow the yam to continue cooking i have added a scotch bonnet to the asanka and i'm going to grind until smooth I'm now going to add my peanut butter paste and I'm going to mix everything together. Guys, if you have nut allergy, please omit the peanut from this recipe. I am now 
going to mix my palm oil which I will be using to mix the etol. So to my pot I have added the palm oil. I am now going to add my fermented fish also known as momone. As the oil has come to heat I am just breaking the fermented fish up. This will allow the fermented fish to infuse with the palm oil. And guys, if you're wondering where you can purchase your fermented fish from the Momone, I purchased mine from my local Ghanaian supermarket. I am now going to add my chopped onions. I'll mix everything together and allow the chopped onions to infuse with the fermented fish and the palm oil for about two minutes. And the palm oil is ready i'm going to set this aside for later use and the yam is cooked i'm going to discard the excess water and i will start mashing the yam i am now adding the yam to the mixture i'm going to do this bit by bit and i'm using my wooden grinder to mash everything up guys if you don't have the asanka and also the wooden grinder you can use a food processor to mash up the yam going to pour in my palm oil and I will gently mix everything together. Guys, we are 98% there with our etol. I'm just mixing everything together just to ensure that the peanut butter, the pepper, the um, palm oil, the yam, everything is well combined with one another. As I mentioned before, you can use plantain for this recipe. I prefer the yam version of etol, so I decided to use yam. Guys, just look at this beauty. Doesn't this look so great? All I can think about right now is my childhood. Next, I'm just going to add my garnishing. For my garnishing, I'm just adding the roasted peanuts. Next, I will add the eggs and the avocados. guys just in case you don't like eggs you can certainly substitute the eggs for kobe also known as salted tilapia and traditionally a tort is eaten with your hands but you can certainly use a spoon and that's it guys the yam etor is ready oh my goodness i cannot wait to tuck in and just enjoy myself guys as always thank you so much for joining me please don't forget to like this video share this video comment below subscribe to this channel if you have not already done so and turn on your bell notification icon which will notify you every time i post a new video thank you so much and i'll see you next time bye